Two lines read out from the verdict that sealed the fate of Devinder Pal Singh Bhullar and perhaps many others like him who faced the noose. The order issued by a two judges bench struck down the plea, saying that an ordinary delay in deciding the mercy petition wasn't enough ground to commute the death sentence to life imprisonment. I don't know on what basis the Supreme Court has come to the conclusion that delay does not amount to cruelty. I, I, I hope that there would be greater consistency in the views of the court. Bullas lawyers had also claimed that he was not mentally sound. However, medical reports submitted before the court contradicted that claim, stating that he was suffering from acute depression that does not qualify as mental illness. Bullas wife Navneet Kaur refused to respond to questions from reporters as she left the court premises. He was served a death penalty by a trial court in 2001 for triggering a bomb blast in Delhi in September 1993 that killed nine people and injured 25, including then Youth Congress President M. S. Pitta. In 2002, Buller challenged the decision before the Supreme Court. The apex court upheld his conviction. Buller then filed a review petition, which was also dismissed on December 17, 2002. The next step was a curative petition, which too was rejected by the Supreme Court on March 12, 2003. He then filed a mercy petition before the President on January 14, 2003. After nearly eight years, the President dismissed it on May 25, 2011. A constitutional bench in the 1989 Triveni Bain v. State of Gujarat case has ruled that a death sentence can not be commuted merely on the basis of delay alone. In fact, the case was cited recently in the Mumbai serial blast case as well. So while all the eyes were on verdict, the outcome was not quite unexpected. With camera person Rajesh Rikhi in New Delhi, Vikas Sarthi for DD News.